welcome this is all i must tv and my name is jakes and emma uh, and for some time now top uh, uploading of videos because i had some issue with uh, my vocal cord and it actually interrupted our production and yeah i have my voice back again and so we're back on board okay this is the channel where you learn mathematics every day okay if you need to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button because here we upload new videos every day in today's class we have a challenge on simultaneous equation okay uh, it's a type of simultaneous equation i called one linear and uh, one trinomial also having imaginary uh, uh, numbers too the question says x plus y equal to 2i and equation 2 is x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 equal to minus 2i what there will be the value of x and y so let's take down our solution as we solve this now so we have solution let's take down our question first one says x plus y equal to 2i let's give this equation one okay so let's take this as our equation one and the second one is x to the power of three blocks y to the power of three equal to minus two i let's take this as our equation two okay now recall that we have something of this kind we have if we have x to the power of three blocks y to the power of three this is equal to your x plus y close bracket bracket up in again we have here x to the power of 2 minus x y plus y squared okay if we look at this identity the whole of this expression we have here is same thing as this so we can replace this with this so we cannot say from equation Two, so we can now replace this with this. So this is going to give us bracket x plus y close bracket or into x squared minus x y plus y squared close bracket equal to minus two i, which is what we have on the uh, right side of equation two. Okay, now if we look at this again take a good look at x from equation one what is x plus y is equal to 2i so we can now replace 2i with dx so if we put that there we're going to have dx but this now implies our 2i close bracket or into x squared minus x y plus y squared close bracket equal to minus 2i a very easy okay now we look at this again we are having 2i into the whole of this and minus 2i on this side so if we decide to divide true by 2i what would that give us so let's say a divide true divide true by 2i if we do that we could have this to be your 2i or into bracket bracket x squared minus xy plus y squared or close bracket all over your 2i equal to minus 2i all over your 2i and so what happens here this we go with x and this we go with this we are left with minus one on this other side and so we now have this to be our x squared minus x y plus y squared equal to minus one okay so from here let's proceed let's proceed from here raise this first all right look at what we have in here now we are having x to the power of two minus x y plus y to the power of two equal to minus one okay what we do here um 
I'm going to add uh, plus 3xy to both sides because I want to manipulate this expression to bring out another algebraic identity again. Okay, so from here now, let's add plus 3xy to both sides. So let's put it in writing that add, add, add 3xy to both sides. We're going to have this to be x to the power of 2 minus xy plus y squared plus 3xy equal to on this other side we're going to add this again minus your one okay so with this we now have minus xy plus 3xy we automatically leave us with x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to 3xy minus 1. Okay, now, okay, so we have a special algebraic identity again with this, which says that if we have your x plus y all squared equal to your x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. What we have in here now is what we have in here now. So if we succumb to this rule here, we can replace this, the whole of this with this. And so this expression will now become x plus y all squared equal to 3xy minus 1. All right. Let's erase this again. Okay. This is x plus y. Check our equation 1. If we look at our equation 1, we are having x plus y equals to 2i. So, what if we decide to square our equation 1? If we square our equation 1, we are going to have something like this. We have x plus y r squared equal to 2i r squared. Okay. This thing we have here now is equal to this from equation 1. Okay, so we are now having this here too. So we can replace the whole of this with this. But let's put it in writing that from equation 1, from equation 1, where both sides, both sides. So if we do that, we're going to have the equation 1 to be uh, x plus y equal to 2i. And we want to square both sides. So this will give us r squared. This will give us r squared. All right. You now discover that what we have in here now is the same thing we have in here. So we can replace the whole of this or this with 2i r squared. So this now implies your 2i r squared equal to 3xy minus 1, which is what we have in here now. Okay, if we continue from here, what is 2i r squared? This will give us here minus 4 equal to your 3xy minus 1. If we rearrange this expression here, this will give us minus 4 plus 1 equal to 3xy. And so 3xy is equal to minus 3. If we divide both sides by 3, this will turn, give us here um, xy equal to minus 1. Okay, from here we can make x the subject of the formula. And if we do that, this will give us x is equal to minus 1 all over y. Okay, let's proceed from here again. Now, we we'll succeeded in solving for our x to be this. Let's substitute x into our original equation 1. Okay? So, from here, we'll now say, put, put x equal to minus 1 all over y into equation 1. 
into equation 1. So if we do that, our equation 1 says that x plus y equal to 2i. And so if we put your minus 1 all over y in place of x, we're going to have here minus 1 all over y plus y equal to 2i. All right. Let's multiply true by y. Okay. If you multiply everything here by y, we're going to have this to be minus 1 plus y squared equal to 2i or into y. So when we rearrange, this will imply y squared minus 2i or into y, y minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now, this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratically. Let's use the formula method. Solve quadratically. Using the formula method. Okay, so if we use the formula method to solve this, our y will be equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 a. So, we bring out our values of A, B, and C. Your B is the coefficient of Y here, and A is the coefficient of Y squared. Then, your C is the constant term. So, from this, this will now give us minus bracket minus 2I, close bracket, the plus minus the square root of you know, minus 2i all squared minus 4 into um, 1, which is our a, and c is minus 1 into minus 1, close bracket, all over 2 into 1. Okay. All right. Very easy. We go ahead and open up this expression here. So this we now give us here. Minus times minus we give up plus. So we have 2i plus minus the square root of minus 2i squared. We give us minus 4. Minus times minus we give us plus. 4 times 1 times 1 we give us 4. All over 2. We proceed again from here. Let's see what this gives us. From here, minus 4 plus 4 will give us 0. So automatically, we now have this, which is our y equal to your 2i plus minus the square root of 0 all over 2, which is automatically your 2i all over 2. Then we have this to be i, because 2, we cancel out 2. If 2 strike out 2, we are left, uh, left out with our imaginary i. So, we now have here, therefore, ry is equal to i. We cannot go ahead and substitute for uh, a y in equation 1. So, now say from equation 1, from equation 1, put y equal to i. Our equation 1 says x plus y equal to 2i. So wherever we see why we put in i there. So we have here x plus i equal to 2i. So we have here x is equal to 2i minus i. So x is equal to i. All right. So from here, we've gotten the value of s and y. Therefore, our x comma y equal to i bracket comma I. Okay, so we want to check if the uh, the root to this simultaneous equation is actually correct. So let's check with equation one. So check. Let's check. Our equation one says x plus y equal to two i. X is i and y is i. So we have i plus i equal to 2. And also, i plus i will give us 2i equal to 2i. So this is correct. 
we check for equation two, okay? So if we check from equation two, equation two says that your um, x to the power of three, let's rule this off, plus y to the power of three equal to minus two i. So we have here to be i to the power of three plus i to the power of three equal to minus two i. i to the power of three will give us your minus i plus this will also give us minus i. So bracket minus i equal to minus two i. Plus times minus will give us minus. So we have minus i minus i equal to minus two i. Minus i minus i will give us minus 2i equal to minus 2i. So this also uh, give us a correct uh, solution too. Okay, so this is all I have for you today. If you learn something special from this simultaneous equation, one milia, one trinomia, drop a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, if you have a better way of solving this too, uh, within a short period of time, okay, because we try to beat uh, a time in mathematics, working with speed and accuracy. If you have a better pattern, a better method to this, drop it in the comment section below. Remember, all of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.